What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back, goddammit, with a little mail call. I've been at MIA for a couple of days, trying to get my, uh, my shit together. Goddamn tripod broke on me the other day, and I taped it up, and it just wasn't good enough. And I got some damn lighting, too, some new lighting, man, so unfortunately, I don't have it set up yet, but it will be up and running by tomorrow. But I felt like just giving you guys something to feed the beast. So um, I decided to make a sacrifice and throw something together for y'all. Uh, but first, if you enjoy this content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment. Most importantly, subscribe. It does help that algorithm and it does help your boy to go viral. All right. Okay, what I got tonight is a um, package from DLT Trading. Stand by, because I got more shit coming from them later this week. Probably next week. This was just a uh, impulse buy that I saw the other day. Never had this before, so fuck it. All right, the knife that I'm using tonight to uh, open up this box is the Miguron Plora. True story, I've never fucking carried this, bro. I bought it, took a picture for the freaks on Instagram, and it's been sitting on my desk since then. So maybe it'll be a giveaway knife at one point. But for now, it's going to be the unboxing knife. It's sharp as a foot. 14C28N, so ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just got a beefy handle, man. I'm just really not about that. Very blocky. I don't even know why I bought it. I, actually, I do know why I bought it, because it's Miguron. I've gotten a couple knives from them, and every one of them has always been good, so I gave it a shot. All right, let's see what we got up in here. I'm also using my new tripod tonight, so I'm trying to get used to that. So if I bump it, forgive me. DLT trading in the house. This is my first purchase from DLT, man. But I ended up buying another goddamn knife this week from them. So now they got my business two times in one week. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I've been on this cold steel vibe lately. I uh, had never handled a cold steel knife, never seen one in person until I um, ended up picking up Big Business. Y'all know who Big Business is, don't you? But ever since I picked up Big Business, I've just been feeling the cold steel, man. For y'all that don't know, this is about business, AKA Big Business. Love this shit so much that I decided to dive down that cold steel rabbit hole. All right, what you guys see in front of you today is uh, two little knives. I ended up getting the mini tough light and the standard tough light. Let's uh, let's check them out. Let's do the mini first, the little baby. Let's see what, oh, it's tiny. Tiny little thing, cute little bastard. Blade is centered. I think I had, I think I had heard about that, that the pocket clip was uh, tipped down definitely not a flicker uh, but this is a perfect little fucking fifth pocket carry i can tell that shit is sharp but let me prove it to you oh wait ah, there we go i was fucking up so this is a back lock it is brand new so it might break in a little bit but Pivot might be a little too tight. We'll have to play with it. But that's the mini. Really don't know why I bought the mini. I would have been fine just with this one. I did ask them to uh, QC the knives and it appears that they did. That's a good thing, man. You can tell when they actually do it because if they're sealed boxes and they come here sealed and you know they fucked up. Okay, this is more my jam. God damn, look like somebody wiped their ass with this blade, though. 
Gotta be kidding me, bro. That's the best you could do. All right, let's check it out. Now, back locks are notoriously harder to to front flick or to, to flick to all together. There we go. But I got these finger cannons, so I feel fairly confident. Once again, this is not a, uh, this is only, you can only carry this tip, uh, tip down. What is the steel on this? Man, that looks like shit the way they sent that. I just can't believe that they would send that like that. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's just presentation, people. All about the presentation. Aus 8, Taiwan. I've gotten a couple of knives from Taiwan and I've always been happy with it. Every knife I've gotten from them. Ooh, that could get your ass something serious right there. But it does flick out. We're looking at Grivery scales. I'm not a big fan of that, but these are well done. We have a nice uh, Warren Cliff blade. I guarantee you this girl is sharp too. So let's prove it to you. Oh yeah. That one seems a little bit sharper than the other one. What y'all think? I'm sure you guys may have seen this at some point. Uh, I'm sure on some videos. These are not new knives as far as release wise, but man, I'm digging that. That's gonna get some good pocket time. Let me, um, let's put up a couple of other knives quickly. Get you guys out of here. Oh, there we go. Flick that one too. You can see side by side. Let me back this up a little bit. See if this is a little bit better. That might be a little better. There we go. Uh, you can see side by side with what we're looking like. Let's put up the uh, Civivi Kyobi Plus. So the Kyobi Plus is looking like that. As far as when we put them against both, you can see the Kyobi Plus is quite a bit bigger than the uh, mini tough light We're about right on par with the tough light you guys might not be familiar with that let me put something else how about i know you guys be familiar with the manix 2 so you can see these are small knives there, there ain't no uh no doubt about it but hopefully that gives you more of an idea uh, let's put up another one for good measure Let's put up the 395, baby. So, uh, yeah, these are small knives, man. Fifth pocket knife. I've been on some small knife shit lately. Um, I don't know why, but it's just you can get so much done with a small knife, you know. Sometimes you can freak people out if you pull out your, you know, your main carry or even your secondary carry, you know. So I guess you do have to consider your, uh, your surroundings, so to speak. But anyways, man, this is all I got. Ain't much else to it. I will have some uh, some better content here in the next day or two. I'm working on some videos. And now that I got my, uh, my production up and running, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll have a good time. Now, if you fuckers ever have any ideas for some video content or if you have any knives you'd like for me to, to uh, review, drop it down in the comments or shoot me an email. Puerto Rican with a knife at gmail.com. Well, that's about it tonight, fuckers. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.